there. When you're putting a colour scheme together for a room, it can sometimes be hard to get all the right coloured accessories to really make up the full package. So I like to take matters into my own hands. And the best way to do that is to find some glassware like vases or jugs and actually spray paint them. Now, this is a very simple way to do it. And actually, you can always find these for next to nothing in charity shops. So I have been experimenting with a few different glass paints so that I can tell you which ones work the best. I actually tried out three different kinds of glass paint recently, and uh, I definitely found one was the winner for me. So first of all, this is from uh, Marabou, and this one was a slightly cheaper glass paint, and you could tell really, it's a brush on one, and really did show the brush marks. The only thing I would say is maybe that could be an effect you could go for, and it's very easy to use as well. This one is slightly more professional. This is from uh, Perrier, and this one I would say again is a little harder for large surfaces, but if you're doing some more intricate stained glass work, then this is the one I would go for then. But the one for doing vases and bottles and, and larger areas, I would say the Rust-Oleum stained glass spray is definitely the easiest one. Now you do want to cover your surface that you're going to be working on because it gets absolutely everywhere, including on my camera. Uh, and you also want to make sure that uh, you have got your face covered if you're going to be doing a lot of this, that you have a, a window open and probably no kids and animals around. So just a couple of tips to really make the most of that stained glass spray. You want to make sure you shake that can thoroughly when you're first using it. And I'd also spray a little bit because it can tend to uh, come out a bit thick for the first time. Also, holding it at 30 centimeters away is very important to get a really even finish. However, I did experiment and if you go slightly closer and you want to have an effect where it actually kind of runs down the glass, which looks quite cool, then you can go for that as well. But for now, we're gonna go for a much more even sort of uh, finish, so. All you need to do is keep turning it around as you're going and don't expect to get a really good finish on the first spray but what I tended to do was to layer up so I wanted to get a teal colour so I did the blue first waited for that to dry and do wait for that to dry and then went on to the green and I was really really pleased with the effect and here's one I did earlier So as you can see, it's an effective way of getting just the right tone for your new color scheme.